channel. That means it is menu plan and grocery haul day. So I will go over my menu plan first and then show you my grocery haul. I did a Walmart grocery pickup and I also went into Aldi to get a few things I could not get at Walmart and that I needed. So we were supposed to go out to Lancaster today, but that didn't happen. Maybe next week, we'll see. So without further ado, and with Doug walking back and forth, putting groceries away for me, say hi, Doug. Hey. Let's get to that menu plan. Okay, so our meals for this week, for breakfast, we are going to have waffles on Sunday. On Monday and Tuesday, I'm going to serve egg bites. I'll either make those on Sunday or Monday, I'm not sure yet. Wednesday, breakfast burritos. Thursday, eggs, hash browns, and sausage. Friday, a German pancake. This is a recipe that came from one of the moderators on my Facebook group. Um, it came from Jess and it looked absolutely delicious. I hope mine looks and tastes as half as good as hers looked, it was beautiful. And then Saturday, as always, because Doug cooks, omelets and bacon. Lunches, Sunday, we really never know what we're doing. It's kind of everybody fends for themselves. Monday, tuna with tomatoes and homemade lavash crackers. On Tuesday, a picky plate. Wednesday, a turkey sandwich with chips and fruit. Thursday, a picky plate again. Friday, egg salad on a bagel. And Saturday, a BLT flatbread pizza. That's a recipe I saw over to another YouTube channel I watched. It's not a WW channel. It's Megan Fox Unlocked. She's a Mennonite mom. She's got young kids. Like I kind of can't relate to that part of it anymore, but she's got some good recipes and really good decorating and home improvement tips. So I really enjoy watching her. Dinners this week, Instant Pot ribs and a baked potato and vegetable on Sunday. Monday, balsamic glazed salmon with rice pilaf and a vegetable. Tuesday, spaghetti and meatballs with salad and garlic bread. Wednesday, I'm gonna do a recipe from Kim over to Girl on Her Phone. It's bacon cheese pork chops. I'm gonna serve sweet potatoes and a vegetable with that. Thursday is Mississippi roast. I don't have the points down for this because honestly, until I finish it and weigh it out and all that stuff, I'm really not sure how many points it's going to be. Um, so I'm definitely trying to stay low the rest of the day because I have a feeling it's gonna be a little bit higher. I'm gonna serve mashed potatoes and a vegetable with that. Friday, I'm making a chicken yogurt enchilada bake. I'm gonna serve that, I think with rice and a vegetable. And then Saturday is going to be Big Mac Sloppy Joes with fries and a vegetable. My exercise for the week, same old, same old, running and hit training. And I'm really not sure on snacks for the week. Um, really haven't been too snacky lately. So I haven't made anything except of course the banana muffins because they're a staple in our house. So that is it. That is the menu for the week that my family will be eating. As always, if you would like a blank copy of the menu planner, please visit my website, jonespointatplate.com. Click on free printables and there's a whole bunch of different versions you can choose from. And also you can sign up on my website on the homepage at the very bottom. There's a place to put in your email. You can sign up for my emails whenever I upload a recipe you get an email with the recipe in it or a link to the recipe. And then on Saturdays, when I upload the new menu for the week, you will get a copy of that. When you sign up, you will get an email back asking if it's you that's signing up, you have to verify. Make sure you do that because if you don't, you won't get the emails. And there's about 500 sitting out there that have not verified yet. So make sure you look for that email. It might have gone to your spam folder. So there you have it, the menu for the week. 
let's get right into that grocery haul. Okay, I'm just gonna ramble a bit until the microphone kicks in. Hopefully it has kicked in by now. And we will start with the Walmart pickup grocery haul. Got stuff for the kids, fudge rounds, cosmic brownies, and nutty buddies. I believe they are all nine points each. I generally put a few out in the bin and then hide the rest. I make them last. The other ones last it for almost, well, three weeks because I still have some left. So that's what I'll do with these. I got a half a gallon or 59, 52 ounces of Fair Life. That is to make yogurt. I picked up some cashew milk. Denise over at Dish with D keeps saying how good and creamy it is. So I thought I'd give it a try. And I also picked up some almond milk. I love the Califia Farms and nobody around here has it and we haven't quite decided to make a trip to Sprouts yet. So we'll see about that. Picked up some fat-free half and half for cooking and some light cream cheese. Two boxes of shredded wheat, like mini frosted mini wheats. Adam and Doug flew through the first box, so I picked up two this time. Picked up some garlic breadsticks to go with the uh, spaghetti and meatballs. I did not check the points on these just because I probably will not eat them. I'll make some two ingredient breadsticks. We'll see. This was one of the substitutions. I ordered the Great Value Pepperoncini and they gave me the uh, Mazetta, which is fine with me. Loaf of Stroman bread. Some baking powder because I go through baking powder like crazy. Can of Rotel because I used my last one. Some of the Good Thins corn crackers. I'm going to try this. I saw Kim over to Girl on Her Phone get this, so I thought I would give it a try. Um, it's the made by sweet baby rays it's the baby it's the rays no sugar added barbecue sauce it was like a whole dollar 20 cheaper than the g hughes so thought i'd give it a try and then some caramel syrup i do not buy the sugar free seven grams of this is zero points and really that's all you need and then this was a substitution this was supposed to be reese's peanut butter like syrup topping for ice cream I bought for Doug and they were out. So they substituted this, which normally I'd say, uh, no, not the same, but I got this for less than $2 and Adam loves chocolate milk and we go through this a lot. So I figured why not? And then of course our five dozen eggs. So that is my Walmart haul out of stock were frozen hash browns and something else I don't remember oh um I another little Debbie treat for the boys that I was going to sock away so no big deal but that is my Walmart haul and I believe it was about 48 dollars then after that I went into Aldi since we were not able to go to Lancaster today um so I stopped in Aldi to get my produce and stuff like that. And I will show you that. Okie dokie. Just waiting till my mic kicks in. And then we will talk about the Aldi haul. Um, once again, I was very impressed with Aldi. This is the second time I've been there since the whole quarantine thing. There were only about five people in the whole store. It's definitely good to go in the middle of the afternoon and everybody was social distancing, everybody was following the arrows on the floor, um, except one person, but whatever. Uh, but, you know, they and they were really stocked. Of course, not on meat, but everything else, um, I shouldn't say that. They were very stocked on beef, no pork and no chicken. But um, yeah, I got everything I went in for. So let's start with produce. I got some bananas. A watermelon, some navel oranges, mini cucumbers, lemons, strawberries, and red grapes for my produce. And then I saw these, these were like the special buy. I don't think they're gonna have them all the time. You know how much I love the McCormick's Mesquite Marinade. So I figured I would try the Aldi brand. It was only 69 cents. I picked up two of those. Love, love, love. To marinate pork chops in those and throw them on the grill they are phenomenal picked up some of my favorite bacon 
which supposedly bacon is, you know, skyrocketing in price. Um, our local butcher, it's now $9 a pound. This was on a price drop at Aldi. It's usually $3.79 or $3.89. It was $3.49. So I grabbed a couple. I'll throw them in the freezer. Adam's little sausages that he likes. A bag of riced cauliflower. I like to add that to my Mexican cauliflower rice. Mix it with um, regular rice and just stretch it a little bit. And just some frozen broccoli to throw in the freezer. A package of English muffins. They are three points. Some crackers for Doug and Adam. Uh, Doug likes the wheat thins. Adam likes the uh, Triscuit type. I picked up a jar of almond butter. I have a huge jar from Costco that I picked up on another YouTuber's suggestion. It, it's her favorite. We didn't like it at all. Um, very runny and just not very flavorful. So we really like this and we like the other brand um, that I can get at Walmart. I think it's like called Mahama, Mahatma, I don't know, something. And it's really, really good, um, but they were out of stock. So I got this because we do like the Aldi brand too. Uh, thing, picked up a thing of chicken broth to replace one that I used. Some Ready Whip because I can't be without it. Two bags of the organic multi-green tortilla chips. They are our favorite. Picked up some corn tortillas because I could not get the Mission Extra Thin Tortillas and I need those for a recipe this week. So pick these up. I'm gonna have to just see what the point adjustment is. And then just grab these tortillas to have on hand for breakfast burritos or whatever for the guys. Picked up a special treat for Andrew. This kid has been wanting thick sliced bacon and I keep refusing to buy it because it is much higher in price and I'm sure much higher in points. I won't eat it, but I thought that would be a nice treat for them on Sunday morning or Saturday morning when we make omelets. Picked up some light string cheese couple cans of tomato sauce. I was out. I picked up all these version of um, Halo Top. It's half the price and it's pretty good. They did have some ground beef. They had, they didn't have the 96, but they had the 93. So I picked up two packages of that just to throw in the freezer and have. I figure get it while I can because you just never know. I did take a little stroll down the Isle of Shame or Isle of Doom, whatever we want to call it, just because I was trying to keep with the flow of up and down each aisle. And I saw these um, little shoe sock liners. And I have a couple pair of flats that I like to wear in the summer, but they rub and they give me blisters. So I'm hoping that these help. Picked up some frozen berry medley. I got this three weeks ago at Walmart, but they substituted the one with bananas in it. And I'm allergic to bananas. So I can't really use it like in a smoothie. I can use it to cook with, but not in its regular state. So I picked this up for me in case I wanted some smoothies. I've really been craving one lately and haven't had one yet. Some light butter, some taquitos for the boys for a special lunch treat one day. They like those. And they had a ton of toilet paper. So I picked up a pack. So that is my Aldi haul. I'm trying to think of the, oh, I also picked up some aloe juice for Adam. I didn't put that out. He loves aloe juice. So my Aldi total ended up being $125. So there is my Walmart and Aldi grocery hauls for the week. So my friends, that is it. Our menu plan and grocery haul for the week. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you're making this week. Let me know if you have any great new recipe ideas because I love me some new recipes. And don't forget, if you haven't already subscribed, I'd love you to hit that subscribe button and join my little community here. Give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment. I have one more thing to say. Oh, I know what it was. If you know anybody that would benefit from this video, please feel free to share it on your social media. I love to be shared. My videos love to be shared. So that's it for me. Have a fantastic day and I will see you over the weekend with a day in the life, full day of eating.